shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. And welcome here, Dixon High School. It is varsity basketball time. JV picked up a 20-point victory here. Dixon, they're going to have a foul to start this game off. That will send, I believe, McBride to the line. Fouls on Nichols. First foul for both teams. First personal. Free throw no good, McBride. One more free throw. Second one no good. Off top of the backboard. Then back down. Richland will come away with the ball. game, merely a game of pride here. Districts already set. Both these teams, different classes, so they will not affect each other district-wise. And that is stolen, and a dunk is missed. Richland, other way. Basket good. Richland on top. They will be the first to score here. Two-point game. Underneath. That is McBride on the board. Missed a couple free throws, but he will pick up the first points for the Bulldogs here. Nearly two minutes in, and back at that first basket of the game that we had there. Out of bounds off of Richland the last time the ball went down. Basket up, that is off, second shot good, McBride, four points in the game, and Richland, other way, can't get the ball, Martin brings it down, underneath, Young, baseline drive, kick out, Shelton, not there, Young to Martin, 
Martin, Shelton open on the top. Instead, McBride, inside shot. It is up. No good. Ball. We'll head back to the Bears. Nearly stolen again. The ball. It's going to go Dixon direction. Young with the basket. Six points on the game. Three, Richland, no good. Again, Martin with the rebound. Out of bounds, that will stay Dixon ball. Burns and Yoakum heading in for the Bulldogs. Tomorrow night will be from Lakeway. They'll face the Iberia Rangers in the boys' senior night there at Lakeway. Tonight, Richland had the girls' senior night, and the Lakeway Lady Hornets had their senior night also. So it is that time of year. Yoakum off the bench. He will add to the Dixon total here. Eight points now for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs in the white and red, black and orange, Richland. That is no good. It's going to be out of bounds. So it's off Dixon. Back to the Bears. Next week's action here, all week from Dixon, Missouri here, we'll have district action. Boys and girls. Those games will be on Misha.tv and we'll have a fee to them. Still looking for anyone who would like to sponsor for those. If you have a team that you would like to that you would like to have featured in that, get a hold of me. I can work something out. Dixon with a three of their own. No good. Good, 10 to 5, Young, we have a whistle, this is off Dixon on the tip, This will be Young. So Drake Young's first foul. Both teams have one foul. Richland underneath the basket. We're going to have a blocking foul, shooting two. That'll send Richland to the line. Maverick Yoakum that foul, his first second team foul for the Bulldogs. So Roston Martin heading back in, he'll give Young a break, and Richland still on the line. Otto, one more free throw, missed the first one. Second one, good. We'll have the senior night festivities. It was also senior night here. We'll have them uploaded tonight along with the 
try to get the JV game and the varsity game uploaded. We'll have them by tomorrow either way. They'll be for rebroadcast in about a week or so. We're going to have a foul heading to the basket. Nope, this will be a turnover. So back to the Bears. Two minutes remaining in the quarter, and still pretty decently low scoring, but we're going to have a foul. So Judrome with the foul. Third team foul for the Bulldogs. Under two minutes to go in the quarter. 10-6 lead, just a two-possession game between these teams. No one's really come out yet and done anything to change a whole lot, but still early in the game. Otto with the basket for Richland. Dixon, shot of their own into the hands of the Bears. Two-point ball game. Crocker girls defeated Richland not too long ago here, or not too long ago tonight. That game was in Richland. Foul on the way up. So we're going to have a turnover instead. We'll take a... We'll stick with action here. Then we'll come back and we'll take a look in a, at the end of the quarter here. That nice layup by Otto. It's nearly one quarter down. A pretty evenly matched up game right now. If you're just joining us, Richland, Orange and Black, Dixon, Red and White. Richland block on that basket there. 30 seconds left in the quarter. After some processing time, all these games will be available to watch on demand on Alan Hillary Sports YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to that as it'll give you all the updates along with highlights from the district games. And final few seconds here, Dixon, three, contested, no good. And in the first quarter here, this brought Richland within eight, so that's where we stand, 10-8 to eight in the first. We'll be back after this with the second quarter. Oh, missed it. Dixon with the ball to start the second quarter. Richland not letting Dixon get anything easy right now. It is pretty contested at the moment. Richland in that blind angle of the camera there. Underneath Bears. That is blocked. Dixon ball. It is picked up by the Bulldogs. Two point basket. No good heading the other way. No good again by Dixon. 
minute and a half gone here. Neither team has scored. Both playing great defense in this contest. Richland again off target. Inside game. Struggling right now for both these teams. Last game against... Well, not the last game, but last game broadcast against Licking. Dixon really took these shots lights out. And turnover by Dixon. Back to the Bears. Bears holding their own here. They were one of those teams in the conference tournament that had some potential. They did well this season so far. And back the other way again. Again, join us tomorrow night. Senior night from Lake, or Lakeway High School would be the Hornets against the Iberia Rangers. Then we'll have some baseball softball and soccer action this spring. Don't forget to join us for that. When we do that, we'll have those live on Allen Hilliard Sports. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will get those notifications along with other special videos that we have coming. And again, a rough basket there. Not sure... Trying to get through traffic, but not the best form on that. That will give the ball back heading the other way. We'll give Dixon a two-possession game here. Well, I say two-possession, but it might not. It still could be a one-possession game, technically. Again, Richland off target. Ball heading the other way. So far, both teams have their five timeouts. Young for three. Off the glass. Offensive rebound. And Sheldon with that offensive rebound. Good positioning inside. Got the ball and laid it off the glass. Simple layup. Richland passed up a three. They'll drive inside. That basket good. Otto again with the score. Otto having a pretty good night here for the Bears. Five points on the night so far. Presence on the court, great defensive player though. A lot of stats that are not marked on a stat sheet and that will be a miss head back. Good. Still Dixon ball. I believe we're going to have a timeout. We'll take a break here. We'll take a look back at earlier here. One of the buckets at the by the Bears. I believe we have another one here for you. And we do here. And after that, we'll take a break. It is 14 to 10. Dixon on. Dixon ball underneath their own goal. They have a four-point lead, 14 to 10. 2.45 to go in the quarter. Richland with the steal. Some great 
great games with these two teams in the past here. I believe Dixon, Richland, 20... Eight twenty-five, eight twenty-eight, twenty-six. I think at one time Dixon came out, hit a three. We'll try to get a video of that. We're gonna do a section on classic stuff here. But we'll get something for that. I think our video thing has an issue. That is blocked. Two shots coming. And let's take a look if we got that on our replay camera here. So free throws coming for the Bears. First free throw good, three point game. Our score, I don't know what happened there, but our score is different. But I will adjust whatever happened with that. Sixteen for Dixon. And seventeen for Richmond. I think we are set. We're gonna have a whistle. And I did not see what happened here. They're going to call a foul. And a foul on the shot underneath. That is Lobland, the foul. So that will tie the score up at 17. Got off track somewhere there, but we're on back on track now. And Dixon back on top. Richland spreading the floor a little bit. Under a minute to go in the first half, and it's been a close ball game here. One point separates these two. Right now the host Bulldogs on top, but I could change with this possession. That is stolen. Young layup. It is good. So Drew Young with that basket. And we're going to have a foul. This is an illegal screen on the floor. So the foul is going to be on Case Sendin on that. And Richland will have 26 seconds left here. It looked like it could have gone the other way, but it will be Richland's ball. Take a look at that. So foul on the Bulldogs. One free throw coming. This is a chance to tie it up for the Bears. And we are knotted up. Seven, 20 apiece. 17 seconds to go. Clocks a little fast, it seems like, but 
Now we're caught up. Three-point shot off target. Offensive rebound. Not there. We'll go into halftime at the break. We'll be back. 20 all. We are tied. Third quarter action here. Once my quarter thing changes, there we go. And why did we not start? Did not start like I planned, but we are going here, and it is a tied-up ball game. Richland, first chance at a shot of scoring. No good. Martin with the rebound, heading the other way. And McBride underneath for the basket. Richland again slowing down this time, looking for something, trying to get a basket underneath. They'll try to drive in. Two Bulldogs there. Shot no good. Ball heading the other way. Good Bulldogs. So Young with the three point shot. We'll take a look at that in a little set or a little bit here if we got a good view of that. Richland, they're going to take a three of their own off target. McBride rebound. That is Sheldon, I believe. That is short, out of bounds. Dixon, ball. Still trying to get possession. It is... McBride, we do have a replay of that for sure, so we'll go back to that one at the next dead ball for you. Richland running out of time here, ball. Pressure again, Dixon. And Young again, seven point lead out of the gate here. And we're gonna have a foul. We're gonna take a break here real quick. And we're going to look at and we're taking timeout, full timeout, we'll be back. It is Richland Ball here coming out and Richland's pressure by Dixon, they're going to cross midcourt, five and a half minutes in the third, three. No good. Offensive rebound. That is stolen away by Dixon. Bulldogs heading the other direction. Basket off target. Five minutes in the third. It is tipped. Richland drives. Shot up. No good. Again, we have a foul. It's going to be on Otto of Richland, his first. Currently leads the, the Bears with nine points. I don't know if I've actually said their full mascot yet, but it's Richland Bears. And we're going to take a look at that replay because I'm not sure what happened with that, but... And... Yeah, I could kind of see that.
three, passed up, cross court pass, again passed up the three, Young with the three this time, offensive rebound, Young, two Youngs on the floor if you're wondering, send it, or uh, not sending, Sheldon, back to Young, this three is good. Drew Young with the big three there. And after the assist, big three. And we have a timeout. We'll be back after. Switch one at the ball coming out of the timeout. Turnover on the Bears. That'll give the ball back to Dixon. Martin with the inbound. Sheldon underneath. Young. Other guard out there. Both Young splitting the floor now. Young to the basket. Drake Young, big bucket. Ball is kicked, still Richland ball. And we're going to take a break. We have an issue here. We'll be back after. Tell you what, this PSA. So back here again, back in action. Three-point shot, no good. Three is good by Richland. Davin Williams with the three, checking to make sure I pronounced it somewhat correctly. Three from Dixon, no good. And out of bounds, we'll take a look at that last three real quick. Passing up some shots here inside. We're going to have a travel. Took an extra step there by Young. Burns and Yoakum will head back into the ball game for the Bulldogs. Again, we'll have live coverage of District Class 3 District Basketball here. Class 3 District 9. That'll be Monday through Saturday next week. Also have the Class 2 District 9 Girls Championship game. That'll be live from Lakeway at 6 p.m. Saturday. Boys District Action will be covered by the Richland Bears Network. And Martin with the basket. Layup good. I think we are all caught up now. 36-25 on the board. And we're going to have a whistle. This will be on the Bears. So inbound, Sheldon from the side. Nope, looks like Martin will inbound it. And inbound in the backcourt. Eleven point lead for the Bulldogs. Three, good, no good. It was 
Off target, foul on Dixon. Took a little bit of a long curve on that. Yoakum with the foul, his third. He has, that's just the first team foul. Haven't really had a lot of fouls in the first half of the game, and it's continuing here. Approaching the final minute here, we're going to have a foul here for Drake Young. So he's going to pick up three. So Drew Young will come in for Drake Young. Pick up his first. Three team fouls each now in the ball game. Ball still free. It's kind of like a fumble in football there. The ball loose just out of the other camera and so Dixon ball out of all that fumble there I mean that was a straight up knock the football out fumble down the backfield right there And 39 seconds in the game off the Bulldogs. So Richland could use the final half minute here. That is out of control. We have a foul. And take a look at that foul here. Send in, he'll head to the line. He'll have a couple shots coming. First one short. One more basket on the way. That one also short. Usually a pretty good shooter there for the Bulldogs. Richland rebound. Again, they have about 30 seconds here. Less than that, but... They don't need to rush to the basket, which is what they're doing, but they do get a basket out of it. They'll give Dixon a chance to get the ball now, though. And no pressure by Richland. Three up. That is good. So Drew Young, three to close this out. So Dixon. And 39-27, we'll be back after this. So Dixon ball, 12-point lead coming into this. Bulldogs will play here on Monday night, I believe. Tuesday, the girls will play. Dixon, the three seed. The boys a three seed anyway. Girls the four or er, I think the four seed, four or five. They have defeated the four seed already twice this year. This ball off Dixon. Good pressure. Richland underneath. Bears are gonna go back out deep. That is knocked loose. And a foul on the way up here. We're going to take a look at that. That is... So back at that foul. Yep. 
Young. That's a 15 foul on Richland. And that is the just the first foul for Cade Belshi, it looks like. First one good, second one just as nice, and 41-27. Dixon beginning to pull away. It's been, it started out as a close game the first half. Dixon, it's been all Dixon. It's been 21-7 in this half so far. And we're going to have a foul. This will be against the Bulldogs. I'll send Mason Michaels to the line, a senior. Tommy McBride with the foul. Just his first foul, fourth team. Tomorrow there is a girls game here that was not originally on the schedule, but... This will be the final basketball broadcast. Not district related, by the way. We'll have district games, but... We'll be back with Dixon baseball and softball this spring. We'll have at least four games, three baseball, one softball. Or it might be two and two, something like that. Young and Sheldon. Outside, well, Young, Young, and Sheldon. McBride underneath. Martin also out there now. Ball turned over. Rivalry going back many years. These teams have been part of the Frisco League for a long time here. All the way back in the Waynesville days. Waynesville has grown quite a bit since then, so. Turnover on the Bulldogs. Ball will head back the other direction. Stolen ball, nearly stolen. And we're going to have a foul on the shot. That's going to send Loblin to the line. We'll have a couple here. 557 remaining in the ball game. Saturday night, the Waynesville Tigers will be in action. Camdenton Lakers and Ozark Conference action. I'm not sure if that will be on TV or not, but I will be doing the announcing and working the freshman game, so be sure to stop by and cheer on your local Ozark Conference team. Tomorrow night specifically will be in Lakeway for the boys' senior night against the Iberia Rangers. Richland with the three. They'll make this a 10-point ball game. And the Richland Bears really hanging in here. They're starting to get their stride a little bit. Dixon came out, really outscored them 21-7 to to start. And when you start digging holes like that, it gets hard to come back, but with five minutes to go, ten points is not a big lead. So 
Auto, a foul, his second. That's going to be bonus, though, following any more fouls for the Bears. So that will give the... So Bulldogs taking their time here. Dixon does have the option of the bonus now, so they can really not try to do much. <laughs> Offensive foul. That's on Martin. Player control foul. Offensive rebound, three, passed up, drives inside, whistle on the basket, Yoakum possibly, nope, this will be on Young, 22, well he gave 22, we have 24 on the board, 20, there we go, fourth for, fourth for Maverick, Yoakum, big, Big uh, points and defensive pressure off the bench. Just going to be sure to like and subscribe and all the other good stuff. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this. Dixon on top by, looks like a Bank of Pulaski County, KW Realty. Just any of the sponsors, really, that have made these games possible. And it is hard to mention all of you all at one time, but I do appreciate it. Whatever sport you have sponsored. No, like I said, I appreciate everything you guys have done and hopefully continue to do. Next year we'll have coverage again of Waynesville Tiger football. Hopefully you'll be part of that. Trying to get a jump ball here. Jump ball back to Richland. So Richland has cut this game to nine. And that is up off. Three. That is good. Richland, big three. So nine points is now a six-point ball game. We'll take a look at that three. We got something going on on the floor. We got a timeout. But we're going to take a quick break here. But here, once again, with the foul. And we'll take a break. We'll be back after this back three-point plays possible, this time the old-fashioned way. Sure. This gym has seen many of those, but not this time as basket no good. Looking at Richland trying to go baseline here. Ball. It is loose. It is Richland got, has to get rid of it. They're going to shoot a three. That's off target. And under three minutes now in the ball game. Drive. Running shot. Not really set into Richland's hands. for the inside. And we're going to have 
a foul. Basket is good. So McBride with the foul. Chase Auto. Three point play. We have a five point game now in the contest. So, timeout. Bulldogs will take a break. We'll be back after. Try to lob it, not able to get it to the basket. Dixon comes away with the ball. Dixon, two minutes here. They have the, both teams are in the bonus. One point, this was a 14, 15 point ball game. And Richland really coming back. As I mentioned, they kept it close the first half, and it is still a close contest. So that foul will force Dixon to the line once again. Foul on Belshi. And at times, this is the best thing you can do is foul that. Just a second foul on Belshi, so send in free throw. It is good. One more free throw. And we're going to have a foul on the Bulldogs. So that's going to send Richland to the free throw line now on the other side. Back to a six point difference in the contest. Free throw missed, a minute 23, Richland, they're going to have to foul, Dixon's probably not going to do a whole lot, and we're going to head back to the line once again. This is where making free throws really matters. Free throw good. We'll take a break. We'll be back after this one minute. Tell you what, we'll give you a PSA. For the Bulldogs, Case Sendon. Might have been calling him Sheldon, but it is good either way. Sendon with the basket, a free throw, and That'll make this an eight-point ball game. Dixon, they just don't have to foul. I mean, they can give up a short shot. And McBride with the block. That's going to be a foul. That'll send the Bears to the line. McBride's fourth. That sends Chase Auto to the line. Chase Auto, 12 points to match his number at the moment. And he didn't like that, so he'll add one more. 39 points for Richland. It is a seven-point ball game here. minute in the ball game here. Richland missed the free throw. They have a chance. This could turn out. That is blocked. Good decision there. It, you know, it's late in the game, you're risking that foul. Both teams in the double bonus. So whether it's on the floor or what, ball loose. 
Either way, Richland's got a score here. There's nothing about it. And ball up. Basket does count. So Drew Young's second. So 41 points. It's a five-point game. Chance to make it a six point or a four point game. And just like that, four points. Nearly 30 seconds left in the game. Foul. Dixon, two shots at the line. So Nichols second, Drake Young at the line, and he will, I believe he's got 11 points in the ball game. And that'll make that 12, so a two possession game here. Time out. Oh, uh, why is my clock not going? Three Richland off target. And again, foul. That will send us back to the other side for free throws with 16 seconds left. Elsie's fourth, Drake Young again, chance to add some more points, 13 on the game for him. He ties the most out there with two Richland players right now. And he will take the lead now, most points on the floor. There is four players with... Over 10 points out there on the court between the two teams. That is a lot. And subs coming in for the Bulldogs here. As seniors taking their final time here. Not really final. They'll have districts, but their final regular season game. Girls will have one tomorrow. And three-point shot. Chase Otto will be here. Six seconds. Dixon could really give this to Richland. And that will do it with 4.7 seconds left on the game clock. One free throw will seal it up, but really there's nothing he could do to get five points. And Dixon, no one down there to prevent the rebound. He has two shots. And that will do it. Bulldogs will pick up a victory here. They don't have to play defense at this point. They can stand on the side, and Bulldogs will pick up a victory here before Districts. Fifty-two forty-five. Dixon with the win. Thank you for joining us. It has been a great ball game. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, from Lakeway. Have a good night. Shot up.